My name is Lauren Price, and I'm a networking specialist customer engineer at Google Cloud. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the networking concepts for Cloud Run that are helpful to know for implementation, security, and connectivity. Cloud Run is a managed compute platform that enables you to run containers that are invocable via requests or events. Cloud Run is serverless, it abstracts away all infrastructure management so you can focus on what matters most, building great applications. Cloud Run, along with other Google Cloud serverless services, does not run within a VPC. Cloud Run is a regional service, meaning services are deployed to a single region but replicated across zones for high availability. Let's dig into the connectivity patterns. For the connectivity patterns, we're gonna focus on ingress and egress. We'll start with ingress. By default, when you deploy to Cloud Run, you're given a URL that can be routed on the internet. The URL will always be resolvable on the public internet. However, by default, services refuse all requests unless IAM is configured for the service. Ingress configuration and authentication parameters can be set to change access patterns, and we'll dig more into these settings when we talk about security. The next ingress pattern is through a global external HTTPS load balancer. Cloud Run can be configured as a backend service to a load balancer through a serverless network endpoint group, or NEG for short. Additionally, with this option, you have the ability to configure a custom domain for your Cloud Run service. Cloud Run services can be accessed privately from your VPC through the use of Private Google Access or Private Service Connect. When PGA or PSC is used, Rather than clients needing an external IP address or using a NAT gateway to egress to the internet, clients can route privately to the Cloud Run service using either a Google-provided VIP for PGA or a chosen RFC 1918 endpoint for PSC directly from your VPC. Private Google Access or Private Service Connect can also be configured so that clients on-prem can connect privately over a hybrid connection to access a Cloud Run service. Finally, there are a few scenarios that can occur when another Google Cloud service needs to send requests to Cloud Run. Requests from Event Arc, PubSub, and workflows in the same project or VPC service control perimeter are recognized as internal and can access Cloud Run directly if the ingress is set to internal. Requests from another Cloud Run service, App Engine, and Cloud Functions in the same project or VPC service controls perimeter are recognized as internal only with the use of a serverless VPC access connector, which we'll talk more about later. Requests from other Google Cloud services not mentioned cannot use the internal ingress setting and must use service-specific authentication. However, Google Cloud is continuing to update the list of services that are recognized as internal. Now let's move on to egress patterns. By default, a Cloud Run service connects to external endpoints on the internet using a dynamic IP address pool, meaning Cloud Run can egress directly from the application if the destination is on the internet or public connectivity is desired. But what if the destination is within the VPC and requires private connectivity? This is where you can use a serverless VPC access connector. Requests originating from Cloud Run can connect to sources in the VPC using a serverless VPC access connector, and the source of the requests would appear as if they are originating from the connector. Configuring a serverless VPC access connector for a standard VPC is a simple process of defining the access connector for a VPC and choosing the subnet in which the connector will run. There are two different configuration options for a serverless VPC access connector for a shared VPC. You can either set up connectors in each service project that has Cloud Run resources that need access to your network, or you can set up shared connectors in the host project. There are advantages to each method, and you can check out the docs linked below for more information. The last egress pattern is through a static outbound IP. As stated before, Cloud Run services connect to endpoints on the internet using a dynamic IP address pool. But what happens if you need a single static IP address in the event you need to connect to a database or API using an IP address-based firewall. With the use of the previously described serverless VPC access connector, you can route outbound calls through the VPC, which can then make use of a cloud NAT configured with a static address to egress through the VPC with a predefined single IP address. 
Now that we've discussed routing patterns, let's talk about a few ways to secure Cloud Run services. Make sure to properly configure your ingress and authentication settings. Ingress has the settings to allow all, allow internal and load balancer, and allow internal traffic only. As for authentication, you can choose to allow unauthenticated invocations for public APIs or websites, or to require authentication for which users are managed through Cloud IAM. Additionally, if you are using an external HTTPS load balancer, you can configure Identity Aware Proxy, which as of the date of publication is in preview as an authentication service, as well as Cloud Armor as a web application firewall. So let's summarize the three most important takeaways from today. Cloud Run is serverless and does not run within a VPC. Make sure you understand fully the ingress and egress patterns of your service to know if you need to set up a serverless VPC access connector to connect to applications and services running within the VPC. Set the appropriate ingress control and authentication settings for the Cloud Run service. Thanks for watching and look out for another video on the concepts of networking for Google Cloud's managed services.